Hi, I'm Chef Jeffrey Zakarian, and today I'm cooking healthy recipes for people suffering from Crohn's disease. Today I'm cooking with registered dietitian Carrie Glassman. What are all these beautiful ingredients well, you have over here? Part of what we're doing here is a gazpacho. This is very easy because, uh, especially for Crohn's, because first of all, it's all laid out. You can see what you're eating, so you don't make any mistakes. Right. When you're suffering with Crohn's disease, you're suffering a disease that is actually very individual. So you have to think as an individual, meaning you have to curate your own meals and really think carefully of what you can and what you can't eat before you go shop. Secondly, eat small portions. Make sure that you eat several small portions a day, not large, heavy meals. What we're doing here is a gazpacho. This is very easy because it's very variable. So for instance, I am doing a cucumber gazpacho, a really regular gazpacho. But you can alter this recipe and you can make an almond gazpacho or you can throw an avocado, all really good, good uh, foods for Crohn's. The second thing that's really important is it's pureed. That is key because so many people with Crohn's, we know they can't eat raw whole vegetables. Correct. They need them cooked or pureed. So pureeing a vegetable is so spot on for anybody with Crohn's. And I gotta say, this is a very easy soup. You can put it in the, in the refrigerator, save it for the next day. You can add some more vinegar or oil, make a dressing out of it. I love that because we're not all Jeffrey Zakarian, That's right? That's for sure. We can't no, all be Gary, chefs you like that right. you, right? You got that right. <laughs> so we're gonna take just a, uh, I, you know, you just go to the market and you get yellow pepper. I like yellow or red pepper, but yellow is fine. Uh, we're gonna take about, oh, a cup, a cup and a half of peppers. And I love this because so many people with Crohn's think, oh, I can't eat peppers, I don't eat those anymore, I, can. you know, I, I can't have them raw. But if you put them in this form, pureed and gazpacho, I mean, many people will be able to eat them. Right. When you suffer from Crohn's, you often end up having the same two, three, or four meals over and over because you know you can tolerate them. What can you do so you don't get bored? Well, I think the key is to like try to change it up a bit. We all know what brings flavor. Grated lemon zest on top of a piece of chicken. Uh, we know that soft herbs are great, so maybe put some soft, soft herbs, toss them, some basil, lemon, uh, lemon thyme, and some dill, toss it together, olive oil, salt, and pepper, and put that on top of your chicken. You'd be amazed at what fresh herbs do to your chicken. You know, we all want flavor, and unfortunately with Crohn's, you have to be very careful of spices. There are a lot of dried spices in, in your pantry that don't have a lot of heat to them, but you're really better off using fresh herbs. Basil, cilantro, parsley, dill has an enormous amount of flavor. So the fresher, the better for you as far as flavor. Oh, look how beautiful that so looks So we just have too. some of the same vegetables that we have out here, diced, very small for digestion. Yep. And we're just gonna finish it off with some chives and then a little cracked pepper, not too much. I mean, that looks absolutely gorgeous. You ready to try? I am so ready to dig into this. All right. <laughs> Everyone wants to get in lots of nutrients. We really all want to be eating for nutrient density. And what that means is maximizing the nutrients you're getting for the calories you're consuming. So this gazpacho is so spot on because it's loaded with vegetables. So you're getting in all of these different antioxidants, which act as anti-inflammatory agents. And the pureeing of the vegetables helps it to be more easily digested. Bon appetit. Yum. Mmm, you are good. Balanced, <laughs> right? Absolutely delicious. Thank you.